Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is just going to be a quick recap of the Phillies' 3 to nothing win after beating them 6 to nothing yesterday, so 18 straight shutout innings for the club. After Noah pitches a spectacular game yesterday, followed by Wheeler, the wheels keep on rolling for Zach Wheeler, and he's pitching like a Cy Young candidate yet again in this game as he gives a 6 and 2 thirds strong inning with 3 hit baseball, 6 strikeouts, and only 2 walks. He was dominant again, had great movement on his pitches, had a great fastball. The whole 9 yards was going for him. David Phelps came in for his first outing, was phenomenal in 1 and a third, didn't even allow a hit. And had a strikeout. And then Workman came in again. Scared us a little bit after getting a couple outs there. But was able to get it done on a nice ground ball. And he had a nice curveball in the second out as well. But hung a couple others. So I just want to see him become more consistent with that curveball. But this was definitely his best outing so far in terms of figuring it out and not getting first and third and one out and no outs with guys on base. He actually got a couple outs and then got a little tenuous there, but he got out of it. So I I think he's improving and hopefully he continues to grow on that and get sharper and sharper as time goes on with the curveball. He's using what it looked like more of a slurve set slider a little bit to Holt tonight as well, which came in handy against the struggling Brock Holt. But the Phillies, again, they stepped up tonight. And now they have guys, they're just hitting in bunches. They only scored three runs tonight, but it's coming from everybody now, it seems, with how this team got hot. Because you got now Neil Walker subbed in for Reese Hoskins, and he went three for three. So everybody seems to just be doing good. That brought his average up to 276. He also had two RBIs. He, of course, had two of our three. RBIs with Jay Bruce having the opposite field homer for the other one with the Paul Bunyan power he has. So... The Phillies have continued to look really good. They continue to pitch better, much better, and pitch great, obviously, these past couple games to now go 5-0, and count them 5 to zippity doo da day against the Nationals since they posted the Phillies aren't as hard to beat as they say they are. So, karma. But even, of course, if the Phillies were to unfortunately not complete the sweep tomorrow, they still have no ground to tweet at the Phillies on because they would be 5-1. and one. So either way, the Nationals are losers after tweeting that tweet, and we have been killing them so far this season. So, again, that continued tonight with Wheeler on the back of Zach Wheeler and led by the offense of Neil Walker, a former Joe Girardi player with the Yankees as well, who stepped up big time for his manager tonight, along with Jay Bruce, who's been swinging a good bat since coming back of injury these past couple games. So that's very, very good to see that anybody you seem to put in now is hitting, and that is fantastic to see. And with wheels on the man, you only really need three runs, especially when you now have a Phelps to go to and other guys to go to as well. So you don't really need the ridiculous amount of runs every game. And it's actually refreshing and nice to see the Phillies win a 3 to nothing game because you don't want to have to just win 8-7 games, 6 runs, scoring 6 games. It's good to see that this team, against a good club in the Nationals, was able, who's struggling this year, but let's be honest, they still have a good roster They've had some issues with COVID, of course, but they still have a good roster, so to be able to beat them in back-to-back games and shut them out for 18 innings, especially with how Turner and Soto are hitting, that's a very good feat in itself, and Luis Garcia is also hitting very well, so that's a very good feat in itself. I also like how Hazley came back. He He got a knock today. And he had a strikeout, but he got a knock. He looked good in the field again. I like uh, how he was able to come back and get a knock there. And Alec Boehm, again, got another hit. He only got one in four ABs, but he keeps getting hits per game. That's great to see for the youngster. He just looks locked in, made a fantastic defensive play, throwing it from his high knee after making a great diving play. So all in all, this was just a fantastic game for the Philly. Please, though, if you like what you're hearing, please like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out the Steel Flyers channel where we have all our stuff and more stuff coming to that website, steelflyers.com, in time. So please check that out. And also, now we'll move on to tomorrow's game, which is Anibal Sanchez against Zach Eflin. Eflin's pitched better than Sanchez this year. Eflin's 2 1 with a 4 10. Anibal's 1 4 with a 6 90. This has been a very struggling year for Anibal Sanchez. He, of course, is a guy that relies on his location and all that type of stuff. He's obviously a guy that has to pitch to his location and all that stuff. So he's a guy you have to jump on. You have to be able to jump on when he leaves one over the plate and hit around just like 
most teams have done this season against him. Uh, he gave up three earned runs last time against Atlanta in five innings, so that's a solid outing. But if we go back two starts ago against Boston, who's of course struggling mightily this year, he gave up five earned runs on eight hits in five innings. So from our offense, that's probably about a number I look to have happen to Sanchez tomorrow. I think the Phillies are going to have a great offensive production game tomorrow, and they're going to be able to carry the momentum into tomorrow as long as Zach Eflin continues to just stay within himself, pitch his sinker, and trust his stuff like he seems to be doing more and more each outing this year, then the Phillies should be able to complete this series sweep tomorrow. As Ricky Batalico said in the pregame on the first game, how about a sweep? Well, it looks like the Phillies might be able to complete that series sweep tomorrow. So let's go Phillies, let's keep ringing that bell, and let's complete that series sweep tomorrow. Have a great day and pleasant night, everybody. This has been a reaction to the Phillies and Nationals as we are now 5-0 and on them since they trolled us on Twitter. So, karma, you know, Nationals, you know what it is. So, have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. I'm Joe Boric from Sports Fanatic News and True Philadelphian Sportscast and Jetpacks to the Bank. Peace out, everybody.